Hello, and welcome to Cryptic Woodworks. So this rather odd-looking object we have in front of us is called a cipher wheel. These were used to create coded or secret messages back before we had computers to do a lot of this work for us. Now you'll notice we have two main pieces. There's an outer ring, which is here, and that has the 26 uppercase letters of the alphabet. And then there's an inner ring, which has the 26 lowercase letters of the alphabet, and the inner ring can turn, so we can change how it's set. Now you could use a cipher wheel like this to create a variety of different ciphers, uh, from simple ones to very complex versions. So we'll look at the easiest, which is a great place to get started if you've never tried one of these before. It's called a shift cipher, and it works like this. Suppose you have a message you want to encode. So we have one here, buy eggs. Nice and simple. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set an index on your cipher wheel. Now an index is just a combination of an outer, a letter from the outer ring, and a letter from the inner ring. They can be anything at all. So we'll set ours, we'll just randomly spin this around. How about if we pick WP? That sounds good. <clears throat> and then we have to write that down. That's the beginning of our encoded message. And we want to make sure that we write down the capital W, the lowercase p, because that tells the recipient how to set their wheel in order to decode this. Then we look for each letter of our message on the outer ring and we write down the corresponding letter from the inner ring. So B is U. U is N. Y is R. E is X. G is Z. Another G, also Z. And then finally S is L. So by eggs turns into WP, UNR, X, Z, Z, L. Now suppose <clears throat> the person who got this message says, okay, what do I do with this? So they're going to look at it and say, all right, I see the capital W, the lowercase p, that I know is the index that tells me how to set my wheel. So I will set it to WP again. And now we just work backwards, or opposite of what we did before. So we look for U on the inner ring, and we write down the corresponding letter on the outer ring. That's B. N, it's over here, becomes U. R becomes Y, X becomes E, Z becomes G, and L becomes S, and we're back to our original message again. So <clears throat> you can create uh, as many messages as you want. Uh, basically, you just come up with uh, you know your own index, you set your wheel to it, and then you start writing down all of your corresponding letters. That's a great way to uh, encode a simple message and send that over to your friends. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.